Hello. It seems like a long time since I was out here making a video, but uh, time for another one. This is another workshop storage project. Um, it's kind of a follow-on from a video I did for a long time ago now. It feels like a long time anyway. I made some racking to store the pick bins where I keep all the nuts and bolts and small hardware that I've got in here. These, these things, little boxes. And when I finished those and I started putting the the parts up on the on the shelves, putting them in the in the pick bins, I discovered there are some parts like these tiny little nuts. I'll get that one back later. And really, I don't keep many of these. I don't use them very often. And well, as you can see, there's there's. I don't really need to use a whole box just to store those things. And there's a whole lot of this sort of thing. So I went looking for a better idea for, for the really small stuff. And I found these trays. Now, there's various versions of these. There's some very expensive ones out there. These are not the most expensive version. And they're just trays with all these little... Uh, pots inside them, little tubs, so you can sort small parts so, however you need, with large boxes and smaller ones. If you go for the, the really expensive professional branded version, you can buy all these little tubs individually and make up whatever combination you want in there. Uh, with this version you get what comes with the box, so I think that'll do. I think that'll be okay for what I need. Uh, they're arranged so that this this lid has this pattern pressed into it, so when you close it, you can actually pick the box up and things don't fall out, which is hopefully, that's the plan anyway. So I need to make a cabinet of some kind with shelves to take all of these boxes. I've got uh, 12 of these to accommodate. Once I started thinking about that, I also realised that I've got these boxes as well. There's a, there's a shelf up there with uh, a dozen or so of these on. Uh, I keep all kinds of things in there as well. And it seemed that they were, although they were a different size, that seemed a sensible thing to keep together. So that's the project. Make a cabinet with shelves that can take all of those and all of those. I can't get uh, eight by four sheets of plywood on my table saw back there. So I'm going to have to go and work outside. It turns out that the pieces I made yesterday, three out of the five are the wrong size. I got the, I got the measurements wrong right from the start. And so first job today, I'm going to have to redo some things. I'm going to redo the calculations, the measurements, remake the cutting list, make sure it's right or try to, and then redo uh, the two top pieces and the back of the cabinet. I've recut the pieces. I think I think I've got the right sizes now, hopefully. So I can do a bit of assembly before I start the big job of cutting all the shelves. So the first part is to glue and pin these two. Uh, plinth rails to the underside of this to give it something to stand on and then hopefully I can attach one of the sides and the back and that'll give me a kind of three sided uh, three sides of the box and I can start putting the shelves into that uh, I've got the nail gun, I need the glue which is there and a bit of paper. Yeah, slightly too much glue. However, at least it should stay stuck. I'll try and put a bit less on next time.
So that's the bottom. I'm hoping if I can stand that up like that, I can put the back on it. Yeah, okay. And so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to come around the other side of the bench. Uh, what I need is a clamp. Don't make life a bit easier. Hold it there. Yeah, now what I didn't do was to mark down here where the nails need to go. Uh, that could be an issue. I can get one in anyway. That should make life easier. Ah, ran out of nails. And there is an issue here because I can't put a pin through that face because it's got the, uh, the rail on the other side. I'm going to have to somehow fix that. Okay, well that's less than ideal, but might have to do for now. Oh, and there's one pin that's broken through there. Okay, I'm going to let that glue go off for a little while and then I'll see what the next thing is. I think I need to cut some shells next actually. I might do that off camera because it's even less exciting than watching me glue things together. As you can see, I've been busy while the camera was off. I've cut out all of the shelves over there. I've cut out these pieces which are the uh, dividers, the, the, uh, the shelf supports. The, go between all the shelves. I cut out two jigs for spacing shelves which I don't think I need now actually. And I cut the two vertical pieces which go between the two stacks of shelves and they're not long enough. The, uh, the wood I've got, the plywood actually, has a slight curve to it. It's obviously been stored not entirely flat at some point. It's got a slight curve which means when you cut pieces like uh, the shelves they don't sit entirely true. The ends are slightly higher or the centre is slightly higher. So with the, the spacing that I carefully calculated to work out how tall it was going to be gets messed up because they uh, you get a little bit extra on each shelf and by the time you got to the, the top of a stack you're out by uh, a noticeable amount. So I'm going to have to recut those two. I'm going to have to cut another stack of these because I've only got half the number I need. And maybe I can finally get around to actually putting this thing together. Okay, um, I'm a bit of a long way off now, sorry about that, I'm a bit cramped for space and there's nowhere to put the camera. Uh, I've got those six pieces in, there will be six shelves there, 
and then a, a, a piece going right the way across. The six shelves only go halfway and the divider, which is this piece. So that's going to go like that, but at the bottom. So I need to repeat that pattern of shelf supports on both sides of this so that the, the shelves fit between them. I'm not going to film that because it's exactly the same as the bit I've already filmed and that's just boring. I know I haven't got the microphone on, but that looks good. Okay, I thought I ought to explain my confusion at this point. Basically, I've done this wrong. However, it doesn't work anyway. There was supposed to be an extra shelf in here, which would be a sliding shelf. So that when I took one of the boxes off this shelf, off the, the, the rack, I could put it onto the sliding shelf to look in the box and take out what I needed. And then put the shelf away again. So I was supposed to be leaving a gap somewhere about here to put the extra shelf in and I haven't done. However, if I get the pieces I've got here and I space them out Excuse me, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The piece that's left, I'm not sure that's enough for the extra shelf anyway. Maybe it is. I should probably look at the drawings. However, I can't put the shelf in now because I've used the space, which is annoying. Today really isn't going well. It's been one stumbling from one mistake to another all day today. That's uh, I'm yes, and I'm doing it on video. Always good. Right. Well, I shall continue and put these in like this. I think, and uh, I'll have to forget about the extra shelf. That's a pity, but. Can't be helped at this stage. Right, it's the end of the day. I've got about as far as I'm going today. 
there's only the there's only really the other side to do although that's there's quite a lot involved in that um, and the back needs to be attached a little better than it, than it is but the basic shape of this is coming together I think it's uh, it's more or less right I'm a bit annoyed I forgot to put that extra shelf in but can't be helped it'll be fine so that's it I'm calling it a day I'll be back tomorrow and see if I can get it finished good morning I've turned everything around this morning so there's a bit more light on things and hopefully a bit more space for the tripod. I was tripping over things yesterday. Uh, today's job is to get the last side on and fit all of the shelf supports onto the, the, the other side of this. First problem of the day, this piece here, which is the, the bottom of the cabinet when it stood upright, it's got a curve to it, which means that this side of the cabinet is slightly shorter than this side. In itself, that's not too bad. I can put the side on and, and sort of pull it a bit. But if this space here ends up too short, then the six dividers, the six uh, shelf supports, aren't going to fit. So I'll have to be a bit careful with that and try and pull this into shape, I think. But it's it's quite a solid... It's got this piece of wood attached. It's quite a solid arrangement now. So I don't know whether I can do that. We'll uh, have to see what happens. Anyway panel on try and get everything square and then I'll have to turn it over I might just stand it upright actually on the floor and put all these shelf supports in and then finally put the shelves in and uh, hopefully that's it you can probably hear my neighbors have started to cut the grass as soon as I turn on the camera and microphone that's fairly normal they don't do it deliberately. Wow, there's some curvature in that top. That's uh, probably half an inch of gap in the middle and it's touching both ends. This plywood is really not, not flat. Yeah, I think I need to glue this. So, because I can't glue it in stages. I have to do the, the whole thing in one go. Hmm, well, that's how it is. Yeah. Okay, that's pulled almost into the right place. I think that'll be okay. Now I need to see if the back will pull in. The thing about the pins is they're very good at holding something uh, in shear, they stop moving that way, but they're not very good at holding things from, from lifting away because it's a tiny, narrow uh, 0.6 millimeter pin that I'm using. But they seem to have done that. That back panel's pulled in better than I expected. Right, mark where that is now and uh, pin that. That pulled in a lot squarer than I was expecting. Right, turn it over now and start putting the shelf supports in.
I've made that one a tight fit. knocking these in in case it forces something apart but Well, I guess it's not coming apart in a hurry. Now for the fun part, let's see if all of everything fits in here. So there it is. That's taken a lot more uh, putting together than I was expecting, but got there in the end. 12 boxes for small parts, 12 boxes for the, the other stuff that I already had stored. Uh, this space I'll probably use for paint brushes and that kind of thing. It's, oh, it's wedged in the corner here and into my bench. I'd, which probably makes for a very poor shot on the camera, but it's the only space I have. I'd like to put it there, but I need to move the air regulator that's on the wall there and change all the plumbing for the air system, so that's going to have to wait. It's going to live here for now. It seems reasonably, uh, reasonably solid. I might glue in some of the shelves eventually, just to stiffen it up a bit, but that's that's more or less what I what I wanted, so that's got a lot of, well that will get a lot of parts sorted. I've got to label all these as well, uh, mark what's in them or I'll never find anything now, but uh, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Thank you for watching, I'm off to find all the parts that belong in here and start sorting them. <laughs>